Hey Scorpio, welcome to Wild Pearl Tarot. Today we're going to be getting your September 2024 Tarot and Oracle messages out, asking what is going to benefit and empower Scorpio the most to know about in September 2024. And you guys, I love to pray for you, send you my good juju. It's my spiritual practice. It's my way of giving the middle finger to any negativity out there. <laughs> There's a ton, right? Like anytime you wanna feel depressed, internet's got you, it's got your back. Um, but this is how we can kind of rebel against that. So I encourage y'all to do the same if you feel like it. So say hi in the comments section so I can uh, focus on something that represents you. And um, even if it's a little emoji. And let's get right into it. I want to make the most of your time. So we're asking, like I said, what is going to empower you? What is going to strengthen you in September 2024 for my Scorpios? We're only taking the cards that fly out. And the reason I do that is to remove my own very human ego, right? I just want to be your interpreter. So we're going to let the tarot and the oracle speak on its own. We start with the meadow lark. This is the divine feather messenger deck. And the meadow lark says, smile. You will soon experience a wonderful journey of inner discovery. Ooh la la. That's deep. And then we got this one. No more complaining. Complaints are affirmations of victimhood. The moment actually we do complain, the moment we say anything crappy, right, is the moment we invest in it. Something to think about. We all do it, right? Complaints are affirmations of victimhood, which is never true spiritually. Take back your God-given power by affirming that you have an abundance of choices and freedom. With your increased confidence and assertiveness, watch these positive affirmations blossom into reality. Um, Let's see what tarot has for you. This will be really interesting. If you have not yet, please consider hitting the like button. It means so much and it helps the algorithm. Get this video out to all your other Scorpio brothers and sisters. Uh, and consider subscribing, of course. You can always unsubscribe. But if you find that these are helpful and you want them in your life, in your algorithm, just do it. Okay, we have, ooh, good news coming. The Emperor... That's the last card that flew out. We'll pop the emperor over here. We're going to get a general view of your reading and then we'll unpack it and get some more detail. Wow. Okay. So this is an exciting reading already. We do have some changes here. Something that is like a fresh start. And some of you guys will be um, starting your own companies or taking on more of a, a leadership role in your career or in your life with the Emperor card. But let's back up just a minute. Eight of Wands talks about either travel or good news messages coming towards you quick. And when I say quick, usually my readings are very much in the present when you see, whenever you see this video. So it could be today, it could be tomorrow, it could be within the month, but pay attention. We have Eight of Pentacles. This is going to be news connected to something you've been working on, you've been working hard and focused on could be literally your career or mastering a skill fool that fresh start keep in mind that the fool card does come with a small warning and it's not so much a warning as like just a heads up you'll see this little tiny white dog right in the corner and he's yapping at his heels and that's because his owner is up here in the clouds looking at this whole new vista what a new world you know and that's how we feel whenever we start something new we can be distracted by the big stuff so much that we forget the little things so this is just like hey pay attention you got to pay your bills still you got to do this or that right the due diligence um, and then we have the Emperor card, ruled by Aries energy. This is taking on that leadership, a responsibility, a position of power in your life. It looks good. So let's unpack this now. I love your reading. This is a fascinating reading so far. Unpacking the Eight of Wands, making sure that this is upright, right on. Eight of Wands. What does this mean for my Scorpios? Please make it clear. And I can tell you right now, we're going to do an extended. If you do decide to... Uh, come on over with it to the extended the link will be in the description box below but I want to give you enough uh today so that you don't feel that in order to get a full reading you have to do that right that wouldn't be very fair I want to give you lots right now the fool for September the six of cups this looks so positive emperor card and it's funny to me that you're quite you that you're 
oracle cards were like smile like be positive you'll soon experience a wonderful journey of inner discovery it's like so much positivity and then the other one's like no complaining <laughs> so it feels like you're being lifted from maybe a drudgery place like a place of you know to like oh hold on to your bridges because we've got some change coming um what i love about i know i'm skipping to the end but i do have to because it's exciting and as somebody who's self-employed and I, I love just being the boss of my own life so much, um, I do have to say that out with the emperor came the devil card upside down. This is breaking a pattern, a sense of um, being stuck or uh, kind of an escape away from being chained to something. Sometimes that one thing we feel chained to could even be behavioral, it could even be a, an addiction. So this, for a few of you guys, because all of you are going through different things, this might even look like getting finally gaining power over an addiction and being able to break those chains, you know? So I'm skipping, but we have six of pentacles out with eight of wands. This wants to fly out and I'm just pay attention. It's the strength card. So we have um, something that's coming through. Basically, this news is confirming that whatever you've been focused on is paying off. There's a sense of tenacity, the nine of wands attached to this. This is not giving up. And you're getting news, I think, that is going to feel like a balancing, a reciprocity, whether this is literal money or this is just a response uh, of support. That's around the corner for you. And now we have Eight of Pentacles with a Wheel of Fortune. Your luck is changing for the better. You're growing more stable in an area. This could literally be, um, you know, finding the home that you want. This could be affecting your home, your um, your sense of stability, reaching a milestone. And this is worth it. I will say something about um, what you've been working hard at is... You're, you, there's definitely a rewards feeling, a reward for not giving up, a reward for believing, a reward with sticking sticking to it. And um, it's affecting your sense of foundation. But there has been, if you look at what was, um, what was creating an imbalance maybe before, there was, there was an imbalance. There was, um, this there's a transformation been waiting to happen and that balance required some kind of patience and observation it was key to become realigned uh what was this temperance card the death card something needed to move the hell out of the way so this is the death card comes out when there's a definitely it's just time for change and something needs to go away to make room for something new i have a feeling that this leapfrogs over to your devil card taking control of something breaking the chains between you and something you felt stuck in um yeah so there was a season for this for a reason nothing is wasted in life but you um like yeah, I almost feel like it doesn't even need any more attention to that because it's done. It's and it's it's over. This imbalance is over. Nothing lasts forever. This is a transition that's allowing. Yeah, you're something that was depressing you. Something that was making you feel um, lack. It, almost like a mild depression. Uh, I could hear some of you guys be like, "It wasn't mild." Um, but now let's ha talk about this beautiful fresh start. I'm going to open a new deck. We've got um, something to do with family or friends, possibly good memories. There's a nostalgia card coming out. Sorry, that's a really loud shuffle. But that was the Six of Cups is coming out with a fool. Some of you guys might be starting a business with somebody you're really familiar with and have a history with. Some of you guys, it's just like a, a new start in the relationship or it's something to do with nostalgia um, with home. Some of you guys might even be going back home and um, uh, maybe even like taking over, you know, your inheritance or taking over your childhood home or anyway. Um, we have, I love at the bottom of the deck, we've got the six of pentacles again. That's double six of pentacles, reciprocity, charity, aid, support. And then we have the wheel of fortune again. This has always been part of your destiny. The wheel of fortune came out with the, six, the eight of pentacles. I love, love, love it. The eight of fortune, eight, the wheel of fortune, <laughs> something you've been focused on, something hardworking, 
luck changes, it comes back around. It might even feel like you're just getting a blessing landing in your lap, but it hasn't been that easy. It's not like that random. Uh, there's something to do with your fortitude, your determination, your lack of giving up. You've kind of, there's a sense of earning this new start. Um, yeah. Now I do have to say the wheel is two things uh, besides just good news and your luck changing. It's one, something possibly coming back around like an opportunity or a person, okay? And not always guaranteed, but that is definitely a meeting of the wheel of fortune. It also is a reminder that you are exactly where you're supposed to be right now in life. The things that have taken place, they were there for a reason. Nothing's in vain. Let's talk about this emperor card. Okay, no. <laughs> I'm taking, I'll take the biggest lump and put it back in the, the deck. But we'll take these three. Okay, so you can put down this burden. There has been a fork in the road of self-observation. You might have had, this is a really interesting energy with the seven of pentacles, the ten of wands, right? That's an exhausting chapter that's coming to an end. Even if it came on the back of good intentions, of, um, of, keeping your word or your um, integrity with something, you reached a fork in the road at some point, or maybe you're reaching it now, where you are reassessing things. And in that moment, you could you could chase doubt. You could allow ch doubt to just hammer you down, make you fall off this hill. But no, you're playing king of the hill with doubt. Any doubts that are outside of you, any times you doubt yourself, you are successfully winning the that game you are you are believing in your convictions over explaining but you know what i mean and this is about taking control in your life in an area and becoming unchained from this dark energy this pattern so at this point we're at 11 and a half minutes i'm going to take it to the extended we're going to ask for advice of course with a disclaimer that you have free will and that this is not um professional advice. This is considered entertainment. And if I leave you here, thank you so much for joining me, hitting that like button, subscribing, all the love, Mwah. praying for you. Take good care.